Hey guys, it's Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is my reactions to the Nintendo Direct for E3 2018, and that was very loud in my ears. Um, by the way, I will have the video a little bit smaller just because I don't want to actually get, um, copyright claim on this or blocked. That's the biggest thing. Um, what is this already? <laughs> so, and it's also not gonna be face cam reactions, it's just gonna be kind of like my commentary over it. And I can hear everything, by the way, through my headphones. This is this a mech suit game? This isn't from Software's third game, is it? Because they announced two, and they said they had a third in the- Is this Armored Core? The music is really cool. What is this? So if you have a fear of me talking too much, guys, I, I I swear to you, I can hear everything. Damon. Does that say Damon or Demon? Damon X Machina. Is that the name of the game? I'm not that into mechs, I'll be honest. Like, mechs aren't my thing. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. Um, when I used to play Trails of Gold Steel, it kind of like always ruined my experience when we got to the mechs, but um, a lot of my friends are mad into these type of games. The music is freaking awesome. I really want to know what this is though. Is that like the, is that like the tagline? Like, like they're the demons or something versus the Machina, and then it's an actual okay, Demon X Machina. Okay, we have it. We have a title. <laughs> we have a title at least. Coming 2019, Marvelous Studios. It's a first. I don't know what that is. Shinriki, 3, what is this? Is this um, Octopath? What is this? You're gonna hear a lot of that today. Wait, what is this? It's the work of one blade. What's what is this? Is this, um... Is this Xenoblade? Or Xenoblade? Is this like, um... Oh, this looks so good. Oh my god, is this what the game looks like? Is this Xenoblade? Or is this a new IP altogether? I haven't played Xenoblade 2 yet. I played all of Xenoblade 1. Yeah, this is this is totally Xenoblade, right? I think when I do eventually get a Switch, this is probably going to be one of my first games I'll pick up. For sure. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, okay. Uh, Torna, the Golden Country. Is it, um, I w you guys don't know, but is it a prequel or a sequel? I wonder. September. Okay, that's this year. When we launched Nintendo hey, Reggie! Our vision was a home hey. system you could play together anytime anywhere. Two detachable Joy-Con controllers, countless play possibilities. From day one, all of you have shown the world what that means, whether playing at home or on the go, from low to on high. Where will Nintendo Switch take you next? He's not wrong. To a smashing invitational cheered by fans and challengers? Or on a journey through verdant fields and Viridian cities in a timeless quest to catch them all. Oh, we're getting Pokemon details? We're getting Pokemon? Yeah, it's Pokemon. A few weeks ago, we showed you Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. A grand new Pokemon adventure through the vibrant oh, it looks so good. where your partner, Pikachu or Eevee, is always by your side. Add the transformative power of Nintendo Switch 
And you can play as you like, anywhere you like, or for the first time in this series, catch or battle Pokemon on one system with a friend. You can even transfer a Pokemon into the game from Pokemon Go. I'm glad they're not leaning too heavy on the this Pokemon Go thing, though. Is a Pokeball Plus. <laughs> you can use it like a Joy-Con <laughs> controller with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, or play the entire game with it alone. You can put a Pokemon into the Pokeball Plus, then bring it with you. So any Pokemon. It sounds like there's already one inside. It's the mythical Pokemon Mew. Mew. Mew comes exclusive with every Pokeball Plus and can join you on your journey through the game. I don't know how I feel. Pokemon, Wait, you Let's have to buy the Pikachu. Pokeball Plus? Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and the Pokeball Plus will be available on November 16th. Discover new friends and... I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about that. ...this mysterious and enchanting world wherever you go with whoever you like only on Nintendo Switch. Now, let's check out something else we can't wait to show you. I mean, it's DLC, but at least it's like honest DLC. It's telling you where to get it and how you can get it. It's not lying to people. It's not like a loot box. Don't even think about it. Is this... It is. It's Mario Party. Oh my god, how many friends are going to be broken? How many people are never going to talk to each other ever again? By the way, I'm not watching this live, guys. I'm watching this afterwards, so... This is about like an hour or so after it went live. Whoa, what? How? Like, is this... How do they do that? Are you guys ready to do this? Like, this is really cool. Again, Nintendo likes to lean in on the multiplayer... Uh, the Sorry, the portability aspect of the console, and I think they should, like, they should lean on it. Like, lean on it all together, like, rub that thing dry, I think. Um, because it is, like, a really big selling point of the console at this point, you know? It's one of the reasons that I really want one. Like, I love my Vita, but if, um, if I could just put the Vita on a dock every once in a while and just, like, play Persona 4 or something on the TV screen, just, like, a little a dock, an easy dock, that console would have been way more successful. But Nintendo came up with it first, so... <laughs> Super Mario Party. Okay, October- there's another game coming out this year! They have some- they have three games already. What is this? Is this Octopath? received a revelation from the goddess. A gift. To help guide the lost. Now, the goddess watches over Fodlan from her kingdom above as the mother Aww. of all life. Is this Fire Emblem? The this is, it looks like Fire Emblem. Yeah. I played Birthright and I really loved it. I was obsessed with it. Oh, it's in 3D! Go ahead, give me How does it look though in the, in the battle sequence? Oh, that is so cool! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my god. Such a brutal, irrational is this something people wanted for a while? Like, I'm not that massive of a Fire Emblem fan. Tokens of the goddess's power are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are to blame. Was she sending, like, were they sending an entire squad? Oh my god, I'm in. I'm in. I am in. I am in. This is what I wanted from Birthright. I, when I got the game, I thought it was you were going to be allowed to walk around the place. <laughs> uh, must be time for my training, shall we begin? I must hone my skills and battle and focus on today. Okay. Uh, my axe skills, as you wish. Oh, okay, so like this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to talk over this guy's even though this is really beautiful and I can hear it. I don't want to get copywritten. Uh, I don't want to get blocked, actually. I don't care about getting copyright. Nintendo could take anything they want off this video. I just don't care about... I can still hear the song though, it sounds really good. I love that Nintendo aren't giving up on the dubstep, man. Oh my god, you can do arrow flow! Oh my god, you do arrow, 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 arrow volleys! <laughs> what is this? Promise me that you won't forget me. 
I really like Birthright. Spring 2019. Okay, again, a, 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 an area of time is coming out in. Viva Pinata? No, it's Fortnite. Great, Fortnite. I mean, like, it kind of makes some. Um, like, no, everyone saw this coming. Like, and it's a good thing. It's a really good thing that everyone's playing Fortnite. Um, on all consoles. I honestly wish at this point, and like the thing is I love Sony, but like I just wish they would just be like, hey, can we all just play together? Because I have Xbox friends who I would love to play with, and I have, I have Nintendo Switch friends who don't have a PS4 who I would love to play Fortnite with. My friend only has a PC and a Switch, and I would love to play Fortnite with him, but I can't. There's some like new mini games as well, which is really interesting. Like, um, I don't know if they're new entirely, but they're like, uh... They are pretty cool. They're like, uh... I can't wait to drop off the battle bus and meet some of you on the battlefield in Fortnite. And on Nintendo Switch... Stardew Valley in the background, the Shovel Knight. ...battle royale experience. Whether playing together online with friends in the same room or around the world. Available at 10 a.m. Pacific time today. Nintendo oh, Shadow Switch, Drop! A home console where you can access a full range of games content, including a wealth of groundbreaking games from our independent development community. Yep. Your support for indie games on Nintendo Switch has been inspiring. And to all of you, as well as all of the developers behind these rich and varied experiences, from all of us here at Nintendo, thank you. It's Let's been doing really well, I've heard. On a few more, it's been doing amazing. We're showing for the first time here today. Like, I'm not even saying this. I heard that they're, like, selling, and, like, really well. Overcooked 2, cool. And cutting boards in Overcooked 2. A sequel that's brimming with more recipes. Like as an indie dev, you want to get your and indie game onto the Switch because they are selling like hotcakes. With new features like the ability to throw ingredients, kitchens that can change on the fly, and with Nintendo Switch, the opportunity to bake, barbecue, or broil with another player in wireless, local, and online play. Save the world from clumsy cooking when Team 17... Yeah, very cool. ...food juggler... Arrives like this, the thing is, this is this is this is going to sell like crazy. Or wipe out What's this? Enemies queen to claim victory in Killer Queen Black, redesigned from the ground up. Liquid Bit and Bumble Bear Games, acclaimed arcade extravaganza that became a multiplayer phenomenon, is coming to Nintendo Switch. And for the first time on console, two teams of up to four each can square off in exciting battles. Play it first on Nintendo Switch. This looks really intense. <laughs> it looks like and something finally, I would be really bad at. Venture through the mysterious finally, are we going to get a date for this? A vast forgotten kingdom in Teen Cherry's Hollow Knight. An action adventure filled with gripping combat and haunting secrets. Hand-drawn characters and sublime scenery abound in this sweeping platformer that offers endless hours of interest. This is like made for the Switch, man. I think honestly, like they've they've kind of like forced my hand here so far. I kind of want, like I'm gonna get a Switch like for Pokemon, but like packed with all the previous downloadable content. Awesome. Awesome. On the Nintendo eShop, starting to drop it. Yeah. These are just few of the terrific indie games you can play in the months ahead. After this presentation, stay tuned for Nintendo Treehouse Live. Streaming right from the E3 show floor, where our Nintendo game experts will give you a closer look <laughs> at some of these games and more. And I personally cannot wait to watch as intrepid challengers test their medals. This is cool. In our this Splatoon is cool. World Championship and Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018. The action starts immediately. I like that they created their own Splatoon tournament oh, because it's. It gives the game importance. On a game I know fans have been looking forward to. Octopath Traveler from Square Enix. I've seen this. I really like this game. For Nintendo Switch on July 13th. And you can download a brand new demo for the game from the Nintendo eShop on June 14th. Very now, cool. Let's take another action-packed look at some more experiences coming soon to Nintendo Switch. We get a montage? We're gonna get a montage. Okay, that was really cool. That was really, really, really chill. Starlink, which has Star Fox in it. Like, the romance between Ubisoft and Nintendo is never going to die, ever. Ever. Arena Valor. Is this an MMO? Minecraft, of course. I mean, that's made for the Switch as well. 
Sushi Striker. I like the artwork in this game, but I don't think it's ever going to be a game for me. Um, this got announced to Ubisoft as well, didn't it? Uh, Pixar. Just Dance, of course, of course. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Okay, yeah. Uh, Splatoon 2. Octo Enter? Is that a DLC, is it? Or did Splatoon 2 already come out? I don't think- oh, it is. It's a DLC. Captain Toad. I mean, of course. Crash Insane Trilogy. This is gonna- this is gonna sell like hotcakes on the Switch as well. Oh my god, it's gonna sell so well. Ninjala? Ninjala? Nijala? Um... What's that say? Carson in? FIFA 18. Ark. Ark Survival Evolved, okay. Wasteland 2. I don't need to say these names, but I just don't want to get freaking blocked on YouTube. Paladins. This looks like a hero fighter. Fallout Shelter. This, um... Dark Souls Remastered? It's still summer, they don't have a date yet. Which is unfortunate, but um, it's a different console altogether, so it's probably very hard to um, port it. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. I have Generations over there, I just never finished it. Uh, Wolven Sent 2. I don't know what happened that I didn't finish it. Oh, that's that real old DS game, isn't it? Fall. They have so many games coming out this year. Like, so many conferences have been like, and stay tuned for that in three years' time. You know? And it's like, this, no, this you're getting all these this year. Hi, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi of Nintendo. Hi, Shinya. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. It's it's been enjoyable. Recently, it's been nice to see people pull their Nintendo Switch systems from their bags to play, even when they have True. a little bit of free time. My friend came over Every to walk me to some place. So we're going to play D and D, and he pulled it out. At Nintendo, we approach development with the goal of delivering new and unique games to surprise people all over the world, and we're thankful for the many publishing partners also making games for Nintendo Switch. Today, we share just a small portion of what we're currently working on. We hope you will look forward to what's coming next on Nintendo Switch. I do. Now, it's time to share information. I do look forward to it. Title. I'll turn it over to someone I think you know. Super Smash Bros. Okay, I'm gonna settle in because I think this is what's gonna be happening. Hi, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sony. Oh, look at the hair! Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new Super Smash Bros. game for the Nintendo Switch. As you may know, Super Smash what Bros. Is, it? is an action game about smashing beloved game characters off the screen. I have Smash Bros. for the Wii U was my first Smash Bros. Many Just kidding. <laughs> I'm sure you will all Very cool. find out who will be joining the roster this time. Yeah. I think I am. I think I definitely so am. made a video to showcase some fighters appearing in the game. Okay, very quickly before they show this off. The number next um, to each fighter signifies the order in which they joined the Super Smash Bros. series. Please, take a look. I don't have any hopes, but the do hopes I do have is I, I love Shulk and Lucina as characters, and I love, um, I guess, Wario. Like, I know Wario's gonna be here, but I don't expect uh, Shulk and Lucina to be in it again. Um, I think that it's probably gonna be, like, a whole new focus, maybe. So we have Mario, of course, standard. If you don't have Mario, it's not- I don't think it's Smash Bros. Samus, I have to get around to playing Metroid. Okay. Kirby. Um... Bowser. Oh my god, yes! Okay, Breath of the Wild Link. Fuck yes. Yes, Link, you go get him. Donkey Kong. Of course. When was it not gonna happen? Fox. Mm, I played a uh, Star Fox 64 before. Marth. Is- Oh my- Is that- And Chica, is that like, um, Link to the Past? Is that Link to the Past, Zelda? Mewtwo, freaking awesome, yes. Meta Knight is a really good character too. Sonic! I know some people are gonna be happy about that. Peach. Good old Peach. Peach looking good though. Pikachu. Okay, a lot of, um, a lot of go. You guys are gonna be happy about this. I know people are happy about this. I've heard people complain about this before, that they weren't in the last one, right? No, I'm, I'm probably not, I'm... I'm- 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 I'm keeping my expectations in check about Shulk. <laughs> um, I know he's not that good. oh! Oh, Pokemon Trainer, very cool. Ness. Like, um, I know he's not that good of a character, and people tell me all the time that Shulk's not that good of a character. Ryu, awesome, Ganondorf. 
Um, but I just like playing as him, so I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. I, lo I always played as him all the time. Cloud, Cloud coming as like a, uh, just a standard package. That's really cool. Oh, Metal Gear Solid Snake! Everybody is here. Everyone. Wait. Like everyone. Jigglypuff. Okay. Peach. Pichu. Roy. Pichu's really cool. I love Pichu. Olimar, Diddy Kong. Lucario. Lucario's, um... I think Lucario's just made for Z. Yes, Lucina. Yes! Bayonetta. Bayonetta's not even a DLC character. She's just there. Mr. Game Watch and Greninja. Greninja's also made for this game. Dr. Mario and Rob uh, and Duck Hunt. Pit. Very cool. Dark Pit. Um... Platina, is that how you pronounce it? Corin? He's uh, oh I played as him before. Really cool. Bowser Jr. Uh two and Link! Young Link! A uh, Rosalina and Luma King Diddy. The Me Fighters. Wario, fantastic. Of course I knew he was gonna be here though. Pac-Man. Yes! Yes! Fuck yeah, Shulk. You kill them all. Kill them all. Wolf, Mega Man. Awesome. Wait, Ultimate, does that mean like, when he said everybody's here, does he mean like everybody from like Nintendo franchises or like a oh, Luigi? Oh no, the Luigi disrespect, man. <laughs> the Luigi disrespect. Oh, sorry, I hit the microphone there, guys. That is a large roster, but also I would like to have that on my wall. That is really cool. Shulk needs to be in the middle, though. That's right. Every fighter in Super Smash Brothers history is joining the battle. Everyone. Indeed. That has to be a big deal, guys. That has to be a big deal. Ever is in this game, whether they were originally DLC or only appeared once in the past. We believe that's what players want, so we made the impossible possible. Any way you slice it, this one has the most smash for your buck. Look at this, this is such a good idea. They're showing how like good this they are the together. Crossover in gaming history. Once Look at again, these games. The will collide. Even so, your starting roster may be as small as the original Nintendo 64 what? game. We've streamlined the conditions for unlocking fighters, and we want to make the process interesting. Yes. Like more game, more fighting games need to do this. I'm sick of not being able to unlock anything in Tekken. See what happens when you pit many different fighters against one another. I want to be able to, in, in other fighting games, I, I, lo I always love the idea of unlocking characters. Uh, that's the most the fun thing ever. Certain fighters by highlighting how they've changed since their last appearance. So Mario's. Mario's still easy to use, but we did add a little something for someone from his latest adventure. He can also wear the hat, wedding of course. And builder outfits. Yeah, show me some Link. Is champion's tunic from the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. His bombs are now remotely detonated, and his final smash unleashes ancient arrows. Oh, that's so cool! He can also, wear Link's familiar tunic of the wild. That's really cool. Although it's been a while, the two-in-one fighter, the Ice Climbers, are back. Work Welcome back. With Nana. Once she's gone, you're in serious trouble. Ike's outfit from Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance Returns, along with his look from Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Now you can use both versions for the first time. The two different versions are even voiced a little differently. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Yeah, there's kind of a low, like a higher tone on the second one, I guess. Pikachu, complete with a heart-shaped tail. Did you notice Pikachu Libre is a girl? That's so cool. <laughs> That's like now based fake diversity, Zero, though. <laughs> Final Smash has received an overhaul. This time, Final Smashes are straight to the point, so you can get right back to fighting. Falco's Final Smash features an unorthodox ship formation that's more unruly than Fox's. I'm not that Either into way, Star Fox. I never really got into it, so. Tired. Ryu! In one on one fights, Ryu will always face his opponents, just like in his original game. <sighs> yes. It's a small touch this that reduces accidental command inputs. For sure. 
Oh, they use the accidental command inputs, which means that they're thinking about what people have actually asked for, right? You can cancel with jump or dodge, but you'll be open to attack. Like, let's be honest, they didn't need to improve these characters. Really cool. I might use this guy now. Because, like, people would have bought it anyway, right? People would have bought this game anyway, but the fact that they're improving characters is a cool thing. Snake. I need to play the Metal Gear Solid games. It's been 10 years since his last appearance in the series, so we can finally make some new dream matches come true. Of course, Shadow he did Moses cheat there with Shulk, though. King Dede. Dede? DDD. What? Okay, King DDDDD. Pichu. Pichu. Was he? Was she in Brawl? Super Smash Brothers Melee. Melee. Its electric shock still damaged itself too, so be careful. That's a nice um trade-off. Yeah, is this the link to the past? The wild, Zelda's more into research than fighting, so her design is from the Legend of Zelda, a link True. between worlds. Zelda okay, Link Between Worlds, I love that game. I have that game on the 3DS. Fighters, but we made sure you wouldn't underestimate her energetic attacks. Her final smash is a ceiling move called Triforce of Wisdom. Oh, that's so good. Okay, new main, new main character. When I get the switch, this, this, she's gonna smash, be my character. Super Sonic is more souped up than ever. Either you're too slow, or he's lightning fast. They're over the top. It's so good. <laughs> Pac-Man. Pac-Man also got a speed boost this time around. Looping around the stage sounds just like Pac-Man, don't you think? Pokemon, Pokemon Trainer. Trainer is back with Squirtle, Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. You can change Pokemon during battle, and this time there's no penalty for sticking with one, so feel free to pick your main. That's cool. That's also, cool, you, you know. As a female trainer yes! The first time. Yes, I always pick the women. Some fighters, like Captain Falcon, I hope no one out the window just heard me say that. <laughs> on strong attacks in one -on -one fights. And of course, his hazardous big blue stage is making a return. Super cool. Cloud. I've never played Final Fantasy VII, by the way. In his Final Fantasy VII costume or his Final Fantasy VII Advent Children costume. I've played ten, uh, because I, I I I grew up the generation afterwards. At all times, special displays are available for certain other fighters too. For example, that's a slick display, though. You can see how much longer Robin can use Levin Sword and Tomes. Little, like, quality of life, um, things are doing. Yeah, all this is, like, tiny, but it's, like... There are eight different villagers. But it's gonna add so much to, like, competitive players as well. Oh my god. All of Mr. Game & Watch's moves are back, and he looks even more like he did in his original games. His transformations are more full of character than ever. Young Link, Young Link Ocarina of Time Link. Is a See the who isn't before. For the first time. Lon Lon Milk, anyone? Okay. Ten long yep. Years, Wolf makes his return. His design is based on Star Fox Zero, and each of his moves has received a significant upgrade. Kirby, man. Kirby. I've only ever played one Kirby game in my life. But we've added a little something to his stone ability. He has a copy ability. It's a freaking chest fighter. from Breath of the Wild. The more fighters we have, the more challenging he becomes to develop. Shulk! He used to require repeated button presses to toggle Monado arcs. But now you can choose a specific one with a button press and a quick... I actually remember having a problem with this. I actually remember struggling with this. This is so good. We also added Fiora to his final smash. What? No. But there's n it's not only Fiora. Ganondorf rises again, returning to his popular design from the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. And for his final smash, he becomes Demon. My favorite design of Ganondorf is actually um Wind Waker. So thank you very much. Mii Fighter's proportions have been tweaked a bit. There are three types: Brawler, Sword Fighter, and Gunner. The moveset for each type has also been enhanced, 
and you can now choose from 12 voice options. We're hoping to get this fighter ready for online play. Pit. Previously, Pit's final smash was three sacred treasures. This time, he'll be riding in style on the lightning chariot. In the last game, Zero Suit Samus's final smash called in. Is she the main character in? This time, she uses her power suit to fire a. She's the main character, right, in um, Metroid, right? I need to play these games. There's so much Nintendo I have never got because I was a Sony kid as growing up, you know. What? But don't worry, it'll get fixed up right away. Okay, okay, it's fine. Bayonetta's Bayonetta. from her first two games are both available. Listen closely, and you'll hear differences. Okay. In the sound yeah, there is there is a difference. There is a difference. I'm not sure how much of important it is. Rodan appears as an assist trophy. Warrior's final smash. Warrior Man has changed quite a bit. You bet. After oh my god. He no longer uses individual attacks to get the job done. Donkey Kong. Final smash is all rapid fire punches. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. You'll notice that he and other fighters have expressive new facial animations. Little Mac's Final Smash is now a rush of blows from Giga Mac. In fact, all Final Smash moves in the game get right to the punch. Ness's new Final Smash calls on Paula and Pooh. Of course, Jeff still shows up as an assist trophy. Likewise, Lucas's final smash features Kumatora and Boney. This all looks so good. I'm sorry, guys, that I don't know a lot about uh, Smash Bros. That I can't really, like, you know, I talk about it too much. I wavered a bit yes, it looks better. But it was a request from the Wii Fit developers. <laughs> I, 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 was, I wasn't going to change it, but, you know, they, they begged me. We've included all the hazards from both versions of Mega Man Stage from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. I have to admit this. This looks amazing, like... The one thing Nintendo's really good at doing is marketing their games. I play the Mega Man games as well. I actually played through Mega Man 1, 1 and I didn't even realize you could use all the special moves. <laughs> I was such an idiot. It took me forever. It took me like months to beat. Like not months, to say like a, two weeks actually. Months is probably a bit, is too exaggerative. Nintendo has such like a wide Notice range of freaking games. And Dark Pit's I did actually the earlier. Spiders are based on another fighter in the game. We're treating these fighters a little differently and have decided to call them Echo Fighters. Allow me to introduce a brand new Echo Fighter. What? Yeah! Is she new? Joins a roster as Peach's Echo Fighter. She fights in a similar manner as Peach, but they have different That's really cool, man. That is really cool. Have fun playing as your favorite princesses. I'll play as Daisy before Peach any day. All in all, if you add up the changes we're making, there could be tens of thousands. I hope you're looking forward to some It seems the way. I think they make they made more of an effort to make the game more and here's it's better for the competitors fighter. and the fans. A new fighter. Inkling, of course. Inkling is a completely new addition to the rock. The music is so good for these guys. If you ink opponents, they'll take more damage from attacks. Different weapons are available as smash attacks or special attacks. The splatter shot, splat bomb, splat roller, and the final smash, killer whale. You can actually run out of ink, so it's important to refill by pressing the B That's button cool. shielding. That's cool. Inkling Boy also debuts alongside Inkling Girl. Inkling no need. Very fashionable. All eight have their own outfits. Yes, blue, blue helmet, dude. I'm blue, blue helmet, dude. Matches get really bright. <laughs> this is gonna get so messy if anyone ever picks the Inkling. We added in the Squid Sisters as an assist trophy. During their live concert, the camera zooms in for a This game, man. That means it's easier to get knocked off the screen.
While we're on the topic of assist trophies, let me share some additional information. That was a Metroid thing, right? Assist trophies lend helpful support in battles. Okay. You can KO assist trophies by inflicting damage, and now you get points for it too. However, some assist trophies will remain unfinished. That's weird, man. Maybe an unexpected guest will photobomb your battle. Yep, it's him. Okay, now I'm now I'm stoked. Bomb bomber man. I just play Bomberman Hardball on the There's PlayStation all the time when I was younger. More than 50 of them here in the game. This is cool. <gasps> Minna. Okay, course, okay, I'm done. Also adding even more Pokemon and I'm done. <laughs> no, 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 end it here. Minna. End it. It's over. All of this is great. All of this is great. This is a deep dive that I think you need. This is how you do a deep dive. Stages. Okay. There are a variety of stages available in this game as well, including a massive list of returning stages. If you get a group together to play, it'll be a challenge. The Mario Galaxy stage is really pretty. The graphics have been improved as well. Let's get a look at some stages from various games. So Princess Peach's Castle. You don't need to talk over this, you just need to like show us, like, because this looks good. We got Spirit Train. Oh, like from Spirit Tracks? Is that what it is? Frygate Orpheon? Orphan? Orpheon? Green Hill Zone. This is obviously from Sonic. New Pork City. Wrecking Crew. I like this stage a lot. This is actually my favorite stage to play on. Tortimer Island. This looks really pretty. More A towers. This um, this is this is obviously. Um, I'm sorry for not knowing so much, guys. I'm not that wise. In yes. Oh, and the king is there. Oh, that music. I can't. I'm done. That music is so good. Okay, we're doing another playthrough of Breath of the Wild. All stages now have both Battlefield and Omega forms too. These versions hover above an abyss. Their sizes and terrain are all the same, so savor the simplicity with music and backgrounds from your favorite series. I will. New techniques. Okay, keep keep Let's going. Keep going. Keep coming with the deep dive. And returning techniques you can pull off during battles. The directional air dodge enhances mobility. Yep, you slow mo that. It can come in handy when recovering from a fall. However, if you dodge too much, even on the ground, you'll be wide open to attack and your duration of intangibility gets shorter. Look at this, look at the little details. You can execute short hop attacks by pressing the A button and jump at any time. Also, you can smash attack by pressing the Like again, people accuse Nintendo of not caring, but the thing is, guys, they could have just released this game and sold, again, like I said, like hotcakes, and not fixed anything. But look at this. These are slight changes that make life a little bit better. But going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. Or do they? Maybe someone's gonna be like, no, this makes the game worse. The damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. Okay, that makes sense. This should help ensure that the action is well paced. Mm-hmm. In a timed battle, the fighter in the lead will sometimes flash with light. Better do something or no victory pose for you. Oh, okay. That like that like makes everything a little bit easier for the people who are losing, I guess. We've got something special for your playing pleasure in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. What? Is that the GameCube controller? Or the N64 controller? Nintendo GameCube controllers can be used yeah. in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For many of you, it just isn't the same without them. Not to mention, all Super Smash Bros. series amiibo figures are compatible this time as well. In fact, 
All fighters' current amiibo figures will be supported, even if they're from a different series. Tap That's good, you don't have to buy any new ones. To add in a figure player, or FP, and level up. Your I'm still watching, guys. I just had to make sure that uh, nothing turns off. We hope you're as excited as we are. Our staff will continue working hard until the game releases. We really appreciate your support. We've made including I can already tell fighter ever our number one goal so I'm kind of hoping you aren't expecting too many new challengers however I mean I think you've given us so much already please take a look what's oh, a new fighter I'm sorry for guys if I don't know who this is my friends have been talking about this one thing they wanted for years. Um, a lot of people on Twitter have been doing it, so I don't know. Is this Star Wars? Is this Alien? Okay, so she knows who it is. So I'm guessing it's a character from her game. Right? Am I wrong in saying that? Okay, that's the word I keep hearing, Ridley. Oh, the music's really good here. Um, I keep hearing people saying they're into, they wanted Ridley in the game. Okay, so I'm gonna do like a few thoughts here, guys, just because I honestly don't know who this is, and I'm so sorry that I don't. I think this is a big deal for people, though. I think people are really happy about this. Um, I think people are probably gonna go crazy. Um... Fuck. Um... Yeah, I think this is how you do a deep dive. This is how you do a deep dive. I'm not gonna obviously talk for hours after this. I think I'm just gonna end the video right after this is done. Um... But this is how you do a deep dive. There wasn't much else to talk about, really. I, I like this this, pre this um, press event. Obviously, there's not a lot, a lot for myself, personally. Really cool. Available. Come on. Look at all the games that are coming out this year. So yeah, um, I think it's over now, is it? Yeah, I think it's over. Um, yeah, so here's the thing. What I will say is really quickly, that's how you do deep dive. They explained everything that was wrong with the uh, characters and they fixed them. Um, again, I'm not that, I don't know much about Smash Bros, so I can't really say too much, but I'm happy that Shulk is in the game. I'm happy that they put everyone into the game. Um, yeah, that was all right. Like, I'm not going to say it was the best conference I've seen of all time. Um, I think what the biggest thing takeaway I'm going to take away from this, because I don't really know what to think about it fully. I think the biggest thing we can take away from this is what other conferences are like, are like. And by the way, before people say you're biased against Nintendo, I've I've owned a Nintendo console for like two years, man. Calm down. Um, uh, like I think that, and I don't own a Switch, so how can I be biased? Um, but um, also I think that like, a lot of these games are coming out this year. They're showing people you have this console for this year, and they also show con games for next year as well. Yeah. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next year I am planning to do something different. I'm hoping to like have like a desk and a green screen and maybe do something a little bit different. Uh, maybe. I kind of like doing it like this, just like a commentary. Um, but I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you.